I booted up the game and it just had this big writing up at the corner saying, go to school. <laughs> And, uh, yeah, let's go. <laughs> let's go, I guess. Uh, we will go in a minute. By the way, hello, baby gangsters. My name is Calvin, also known as Roman. and this is my first ever playthrough of Pokemon Violet. Uh, there's another sandwich shop over here. I'm trying to see if, like, uh, like, people have told me there will be, like, more clothes shops in the game. Um, but, like, I think it's just, like, I do love accessory shopping in games. I do love clothes shopping in games. One of the things I think I talked about before as well when it comes to, like, hair design in games, as time goes on, I like to, like, as time passes in games, I like to, like, change the hairstyle a little bit. When I played Dragon's Dogma for the first time, that's what I used to do a lot of. Um, I used to, like, grow the hair a bit, each bit by bit. And then, like, when some traumatic experience happened or big experience happened, I would literally, like, give him a beard or more of a beard. I would hang out here, man. This is great. Under the bridge. I guess it's under, like, a staircase. Let's go up to school. There is a Pokemon Presents next week, apparently. This is really cool. Look at this image here, like, as we're heading up here. Oh, the music. This is really good. Uh, yeah, apparently there is a Pokemon Presents next week. Uh, it is happening next week. Um, honestly, like, I feel like people speculate on what happens in these things all the time. And people rarely get it completely right. It's not my job, really, to understand what happens in Pokemon Presents. I just watch them. We will be watching it next week. And I think that, if you want to know my opinion, even though, like, it's not going to be good, I think we're going to get a new Pokemon game announcement. Of some sort. I think because, like, what? They released the two DLCs. This game has done super well. It is, by the way, like, it is one of the highest selling games of the year. In fact, I think it's the second highest selling game of the year. And people could, it would be, the, it would be, let's be honest. If Pokemon was on every single platform, this game would be the, the, the biggest game, you know, ever. Like, if this was on PlayStation as well as on Xbox... This game would sell like 40 million copies every year. Pokemon's that popular. It's the biggest it's the biggest money earner in the world in terms of a franchise. It's bigger than Star Wars. And that is a fact. Like, it's not even me just saying this. It is bigger than Star Wars in terms of revenue. Here we are, Wonder. Welcome to uh, Uva Academy. This here is the entrance hall. You can sign up for all kind of classes at the desk behind me. And those halls off to the sides lead to all different parts of the school. It's totally big enough to let loose some Pokemon uh, and, po and battle uh, in here. But for some reason, they banned Pokemon. Here, uh, sorry, battling in the main entrance. Master Wonder, Mr. Mona, how did you find your first school commute? It will, we'll be honest. We're gonna be honest, Percy. It was tough. It wasn't tough, though. Oh dear, was it really? I suppose Mr. Mona must have led you on quite an adventure. No, no, she was great. It wasn't her. It was, she was great. Not that I was expecting any less from our champion ranked student council president. Reliable as ever, Mr. Mona. Well, I know how to look out for my friends, right, Wonder? Yeah, she does. She's great. She's fantastic. Oh, but speaking of which, we saw some of those Team Star kids in town, Director. Who did? Where? It was down the stairs in front of the gates. Uh, they were hassling these uh, this kid with the Eevee backpack. That is quite the news. Are they still to, uh, to be found out there? No, they ran. Actually, Wonder flexed on him and they ran off through. You don't say. Of course, a fine thing to try and help a fellow student, Master Wonder, but you might show a bit for straight as you'll find your feet here at the academy. And Mr. Mona, do you remember that the school staff here is to resolve any such troubles? Uh, right. Yes, sir, Director. A child with an Eevee backpack, you say. I suppose that might have been Miss Penny. I suppose that might have... Oh, sorry, I relieved to hear that she's coming less. The, the way Pokemon does freaking text boxes in these games, like, it's the only thing that drives me nuts in these games. You get what I'm saying? Like, they, like, they, they, were, they were, instead of having a whole new text, they, like, do, like, a scrolling thing in the same text box. Ah, uh, Miss Nemona, if you'd be so good to report to Miss Jacques about this team star business. As your homeroom teacher, he should be kept apprised of all the things going on. You got it, sir. Ah, uh, but look at the time. You two had better hurry along to classes. We'll be starting soon. We're in class 1A, Wonder. Come, I'll show you the way. So we're the purple grapes. That's our team name. The Purple Grapes. Oh my god. <laughs> now, kids, everyone kick your legs in a very weird fashion. Good morning, Mr. Jacques. Sorry, I, saw I said miss for a second. Hello, hello, everyone. We have some exciting news this morning. Who wants to hear it? Oh, me. I want to hear the news. Everyone wants to hear the news, Janine. It's not just you. You're not special. Janine. Jesus, Janine. I suppose I should have told you sooner, but we're having a new little friend joining our happy homeroom as of today. 
Whisper, 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 whisper. I bet he's ugly. I, bet he's ugly. I wonder what they'll be like. All right, you can come in. This like doesn't happen all the time in Ireland, you know. Could I trouble you for a few words introducing yourself? Uh, right, I wonder. So calm and collected, he's pretty cool. Looks like everyone's eager to get to know, uh, know you, Wander. All right, then, who wants to be the first to ask our new friend a question? Mimi, can I ask a question? What's your favorite thing about Pokemon? <laughs> our character goes, how dare you? <laughs> and I has to hold him back. <laughs> I like battling a Pokemon, I like collecting Pokemon, I like playing with Pokemon, I like everything about Pokemon. I like collecting Pokemon. I like playing Pokemon with my Pokemon. I like battling. Battling is like the best thing about Pokemon to me. Really awesome. I'm totally the same. Does anyone else have a question for the new classmate? Nimona. Me, I have a question. You went to all the trouble in rolling here, so spill wonder. What do you hope to get out of it? You must have some kind of dream, right? I want to complete the Pokedex. I want to be a strong trainer. I don't actually know. Yeah, I don't know. Fair, I get it. The possibilities are endless, right? Who can decide? I love that they're giving our character the option to ha be like a reasonable character, to be a person that like talks reasonably, that 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 speaks reasonably. Uh, what I mean by that is basically like you know, not everyone understands their future. Not everyone's gonna understand everything that's going around around them. Not everyone's gonna be enthusiastic all the time. I adore what they're doing with this character, or with the the character dialogue. Well, thank you for telling us a bit about yourself, Wonder. I'm Mr. Jacques. I teach biology here at the academy, and I'm your homeroom teacher. That's your seat, second row for the front. All right, you ragamuffins, be nice and friendly to our new classmate. We will, Mr. Jacques. Get to know the academy campus by exploring a bit on your own. I'm leaving this class already. Looking for Nimona? Looking for Nimona, she got called to the staff room just now. Welcome to the academy. About before? Thanks for answering my question earlier. Dude. Why does, it, why does the suspenders and the pants suit everyone but me? Someone better explain right now. Why do you want to talk to me? Yeah. Why do you still have your hat on? When class is in session, we tend to be on our best behavior. But uh, our best still isn't that good. True. True. True, true, true. You have a nice haircut and a nice hat. That's a good accessorizing girl. Well done. Everyone's wearing different outfits depending on like... So it doesn't really matter what they're wearing like, I guess. Man, this is a really cool setting. You can now move around the school. Try checking out the place in the map where you see that uh, something might be hanging around. Perhaps you'll discover something. Now choose the location to start exploring. So we can't freely explore. We have to go like this. So let's go to the cafeteria first because you know that Nimona is in the staff room. And that's probably where we're going to be advancing the story on in the future. Man, everyone's eating food. In the cafeteria? You guys should just get it. I heard that in other regions, people like to eat rice covered in stuff like called curry. Have you ever heard of cur had curry before? Yeah, it's so good. What Pokemon is that? A bongle? Is that what? What, what is that Pokemon? Oh, we can do. What is that Pokemon? Is it a bongle? A bongle like? No, I want to talk to the little girl about her bongle like. Okay. <laughs> Fruit makes a delicious addition to sandwiches, you know. No, it does not! I'm so. Oh god, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I just saw the, the, the video peak. Um, I'll try and, like, not have it peak in future. Um, <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> Everything's better today. Sandwiches you make uh, together taste even better when you eat them together. I'm so sorry, by the way. That was so bad. I'm in a mood. Mm, delicious. Mm, gulp, gulp. This is the guy that gave us the Pokemon earlier. I'm going to have a good meal and, uh, and get some meal powers. Maybe that'll help my grades. Hope your studies are going okay. What do they have today? Um. Oh my god. What is... Veggie... Wait. A veggie heavy stuffing and a pecan sauce makes a sandwich for a fresh meal. There's sausages and egg in that? Wait. That was so expensive. <laughs> Um, that was so expensive. My character is so adorable. Look at him. Like, I made I made a protagonist. I made a goddamn protagonist. Look at this. 
Look at my weird ass team as well. Palida, who Paladia eating as well, you know? You must be uh, hungry. We'll take uh, care of that, dear. Okay. I'm going into the kitchen for a bit. Oh, it's actually a nice kitchen. Um, You can always tell how good a game is depending on how well like the basic stuff in a in a in a in a in a building is created right and this is a good kitchen i've been told that pokemon are camouflaged uh, themselves as fruit yep they do when rotom enters a microwave it turns into a heat rotom i heard it even changes types where do you want to go i want to go to the staff room wait there's something still here in the cafeteria what is it Oh, you can still talk to this guy. Okay. Oh, hey, so we meet again. You remember me, right? Oh, oh should we? Should we? I think I've established that our character is very kind of like nonchalant. What? Come on, I give you right on Pokeball. Did I forget to choose myself? Well, um, not. P Why to call him Paldia? That's the place we're in. Well, the name's Arvin. No need to tell me your name, Wander, right? Whole school seems to be talking about you. New kids have showed up with the president of the student council. No, I wouldn't even bother showing up for class, but I came all the way to school today. Just to talk to you with you, our new celebrity. You've got to help me out so I can finally make my dream a reality. Watch this stream first. <laughs> I got your interest, have I? You want to hear all about my dream, right? Well, this might come as a surprise, but the fact is, I'm all about the picnic life. The great outdoors. The perfectly prepared sandwiches, all of it. Not half bad at cooking either, I can tell you. Right now I'm researching new recipes that will help Pokemon feel better. Real health food, see? Found this book the other day and had a section about these Herba Mystica things. Basically, there's some kind of special herbs that heal up any Pokemon as soon as it eats them. Now, there are a total of five different types of Herba Mystica based on what I read. Just taking a little lick of them once uh, they've been powdered will get your blood flowing, provide nutrients, and prevent aging, and it'll even boost the immune system. These herbs seem like they're the real deal, only found here in Paldea, and rare to boot. But this book says they're all guarded by a Titan Pokemon, meaning that they're, it's uh, going to be pretty tough to try and grab even a few sprigs. Because see, Titans are, well, I think they've got to be like things like this. Oh, wow, Monster Area Zero. As we descended further into the Area Zero, we began to catch glimpses of a mysterious Pokemon. Though we wondered if these compact cool beasts were indeed Pokemon at all, one of our teams suffered a brutal blow from such a beast uh, and was mortally wounded, forcing us to retreat for a time. A member of the survey team captured this photograph by chance. Uh, I noticed a passing resemblance to the Pokemon known as Donphan, yet differences such as its texture and the way it moves suggest it's biologically separate to say nothing of its te uh, treads of iron. I really want to get those herds for myself, but I'm not very good at Pokemon battles. Don't have any friends with strong Pokemon too to lend me a hand either. I can help out. Let's help out. And I've never heard the end of it if I went to crawling to that student council girl. Oh, so you're too, too proud? But here you waltz up. You gotta help me out with this. You'd be perfect. Uh, sure. Why not? No, wait. I don't need an answer yet. I'll just register the places where it seems there might be tines in your map app for you. I have a map app? Oh, I do have a map app, yeah. Give me your phone cover. Oh, wow. So, Falls, Dragon Titan, Quaking Earth Titan, Open Sky Titan, Stony Cliff Titan, Lurk and Seal Titan. So, I wonder what's the best time to fight these guys. Maybe when we just go to those areas, it might be the best time to fight those guys? Is this a side quest? Let us stew a bit, and we can get more into the details later. In the meantime, take this. A little gift for listening and all. You obtained a bag of Stardust. You put the Stardust in your bag's treasure pocket. Lovely red sand that flows between the fingers with a loose, silky feel. It can be sold at low price to shops. Give the idea some tears off, please! I'm willing. I'm willing to give it some serious thought. You know? I am willing. My Rotom phone? 
This is Wander, correct? I hacked your smartphone so I could talk to you. Hope you don't mind. What are you... Yeah, who are you? Oh, the angry face. My name's Cassiopeia. But never mind that. It's you I want to talk about. I hear you're a trainer with serious potential. If that description is accurate, then there's something I'd like to ask you. Tell me, Wander. You know about the Team Star, right? Yes. Great. I appreciate you being up front here. Team Star is a group of troublemakers formed by some academy students a while back. They caused headaches for the school and tried to bring other students down to their level. And I refused to sit idly by and let them get away with it. So I've come up with a plan to bring down Team Star and force them to disband for good. I call it Operation Starfall. But I need allies to carry out this operation and I'd like you to be one of them. Sure? No need to reply to a second. We can discuss the deal some other time. So then I'll leave it to you. Oh, I pressed the wrong button. I think I pressed the B button. Uh, the uh, B button, yeah, to, to say no. Sorry about that. Master Wonder. Please do try to keep your voice down if you're making calls within the school, won't you? You... No one else cared. Nobody else cared. You don't want anyone else overhearing any personal information, after all. Honestly, there's so many things you need to be cared about in this day and age. Look, my character's like... Ugh. On you go then, young man. You worry me. Hmm. He's like, her. Team Star, you say? Oh, you heard all that? I didn't say yes, thank God, so he doesn't think I'm part of it yet. If he does think I'm part of it, then he's a fool. Who doesn't listen properly. Who doesn't eavesdrop properly. Oh, we can walk around. Man, this is actually really cool. There's more books than I can read in a lifetime. Boy, I'm ever glad I came to this school. Why should I read today? You can't even read. You're like so little. I can't read. I read, read your mama. What? Jesus. Don't even know what read my mama means. Have you heard of Team Star? There were a big problem around here, but that was a while ago. There is books here you can read here. Oh my god, there's even like a little library. Oh, there's a Venernat? Is that what they're called? Venernats or something? I don't know. Reading out loud from your textbook gets your ears and mouth on learning. There's a girl named Penny in the STEM track. She's smart and really good at machines. Archie started coming to school again. There's a girl named Penny in STEM track and she's really... Oh, it's, sorry, same person. The girl named Penny! Leave me alone. There's a book entitled The Uva Academy School Song. Do you want to read it? Sure, let's read it. The Uva Academy School Song. Over Grand Mega Mesa uh, Goza, stand our dear Uva, we enter where we enter as seeds and leave in, in fruition. Our minds wide as the crater for wise educators, to fill it with the individual spirit and future ambition. Teach us well, O Grapes of Paldea. I'm glad the, the books are short because like it's really cool that we have books, but like I think it would, like in a Pokemon game it would like probably like you know be kind of terrible to like have a gigantic book that you have to read and stop the gameplay in this type of game you may be familiar with pokemon that are grass fire or water type there are 18 such types in all and every pokemon sees at least one type some have two when pokemon use a move that is the same type as they are that move's power is increased by 50 percent for pokemon that have two types moves of either type will receive this increase psyduck gets no increase from psychic moves I've decided. There's a book entitled Types Moves 2. Do you want to read it? Sure. When Pokemon uh, terrestrialize, the type becomes a Terra type. That means their moves of their Terra type will have their power increased. Moves of the Pokemon's original type will keep their usual power increased as well. For example, if Pikachu, which is an in, uh, innately electric type, has steel as its Terra type, then upon terrestrializing, it would receive a boost in both power for both steel type uh, move Iron Tail and the electric type move Thunderbolt. Cool. How are you? So there's obviously like a, a play school version of this school as well, which is fine. It's a violet book. The mysterious purple tone. You want to read it? Sure. Which section would you like to read? The great crater. So this is like the... What the hell is this? Okay, you guys tell me if this is worth it to read. Because that's a lot. That's a lot. There's a book entitled Pokemon Natures. Do you want to read it? Yes, I do. 
Individual Pokemon have different natures, much as people do. You may be able to get the idea of your Pokemon's nature if you want to uh, watch how they behave on picnics, whether they run around a lot or nap a lot, for example. Pokemon's natures influence their stats to a degree. For example, Pokemon with adamant natures tend to have their attack stat grow stronger than it would otherwise, while their special attack stat may suffer. We already read that book. I think that's literally where we just were, weren't we? Yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, let's try and find the staff room then. This library is gigantic, guys. Ginormous library here. There's a magazine titled Paldean uh, Sports Monthly. Yes, actually, that's actually really cool to learn about the culture more. The Sub-Zero Shredder has done it again. The world's second-ranked snowboarder put on a clinic in the Mount Vera Cup, claiming his sixth straight win in Paldea's major competitions. No one's been able to snatch that crown yet. If you think you've got what it takes, come take me on. This ice-cold athlete declared from the winner's podium, and you could feel his rival steal the resolve. We'll see how things unfold in two weeks at the Glasses Glassdale Mountain Cup. That's actually really cool. Again, like those little things like really help understanding like like what the culture of this place is. I'm really good at studies, but my Pokemon battles are another story. Do you think you can help me become stronger? He's like, no, sorry, buddy. There's a magazine titled Sweet Truth. Do you wanna read it? Yes. This tasty pastry wonder uh, is undergoing a popularity sugar rush that's got lines out the door all day. It's a uh, patisserie soap berry located in Cotondo, all of Central, at the foot of a very large tree. At the heart of all of this is Katie, the proprietor, who has inherited the shop from a family and keeps it ovens hard at work. Soap berry bug type Pokemon uh, theme is on full display in its pastry lineup. They're a treat to see and eat. We should definitely find the staff room, right? <laughs> What's this? Where do you want to go? Oh, so this lets you go from... Okay, cool, cool, cool. Is there a way to, like, walk to the staff room, or do you have to fast travel to places, and it just spits you out there in the main hall? Um, I think you're talking to a demon. What is that? Very pretty, though. Very well, Champion Amona. I trust you to handle this in my stead. Sure thing, you can count on me. In fact, I bet this is going to be fun. I'm glad to hear it. Good day, then. Oh, pardon me. What are you? Oh, Wander, hey! She looked all... I'll say who's that. Piqued your interest, huh? That lady as well. They call her La Primera. She's strong. She can do pretty much anything. She's got a cool practically coming out of her ears. She's basically everything I want to be, or that any Pokemon trader would want to be, really. Oh, which reminds me. Remember in Homeroom when I asked uh, what your dream is? If you're still trying to decide what it is that you're looking for, I got an idea for you. You should try to reach champion rank like me. Uh, I don't know. Oh, but talent like yours deserves to be used. Hear me out. The trainers who reach champion rank are the ones who raise their Pokemon really strong. Sorry guys, I just got a heart attack. I looked at my capture card and thought it wasn't recording. I actually was gonna cry. Uh, <laughs> Jesus Christ, that was the heart attack of my life. Oh my God. Uh, the pro tier battlers, they move, keep uh, crowds absolutely on edge of their seats. You have to prove yourself to the Pokemon League to officially get the title of champion. And to do that, you have to do more than just take classes here. You gotta take on the eight Pokemon gyms and win so you can collect your gym badges, yes. Once you've done all that, all that's left is a special test, the champion assessment. And once you pass that, then at long last you'll be a champion. It's every Pokemon trader's dream, the coolest title anyone could ever hope to get. Not to brag or anything. I was champion ranked during our last treasure hunt, you know. Oh, the treasure hunt is a special independent study we've got here. Should happen soon. Our last one started not long after the beginning of the school year. It's great to, uh, you get to leave school and go and have an adventure and learn however you want. As you can say, my journey to becoming a champion was the treasure I found, maybe? I don't know yet if the answer's uh, I'm looking for. So does it, she's encouraging us to go on the champion, like this, to, to get the eight badges again, I guess, the eight gyms. Anyway, I've got a feel I'd be able to get even stronger if, uh, if you and I were both working at it. So, like, yeah, on a journey together, we're kind of like little rivals. Let me go ahead and save the gym's locations in your map app in case you decide to go for it. Yeah, let's go for it, for sure. I love the black phone case. They don't, won't let me get the black phone case yet, though. 
Oh my god, they showed the leaders and all. Which would make sense, like, you wouldn't know the leaders. Victory Road. Here we go. Victory Road was always, like, a very special thing in Pokemon games to me. Give us some thought. Ding dong. Oh, god. Monokuma? Calling Master Wander to the director's office, please. Master Wander? Once again, Master Wander to the director's office, please. Oh, god. Who are they talking about that one? That suit's awesome, buddy. That's actually really cool. A lot of teachers here are call for characters. I need to try hard to stand out. You stand out by not being super, like, over the top. You literally stand out by be not being over the top. That's just the facts. Where do you want to go? Uh, the director's office, I suppose? Oh, this guy. Purple grapes. That's our team mascot. It's very awkward. Thank you for coming, Master Wonder. Have you been enjoying your time here at the Uva Academy? Yes. That is most wonderful to hear. Now you may be wondering why we could not have a simply conversed earlier in the cafeteria, but let me assure you, there's a reason why I asked you to meet him here in my office. It seems that a friend of mine has a rather serious matter they would like to discuss with you. He's like, hey, look, <laughs> where? <laughs> And I'm afraid they aren't actually here. In the room with us. One moment, please. Just allow me to connect us. That's actually hilarious. So he's just like, hmm. <laughs> Who are you talking about, buddy? Do you have friends? <laughs> Who is that? It's me, Chad Weasley. Hello, Wonder. It's nice to meet you. My name is Professor Churo. I carry out Pokemon research within the great crater of Paldea. A side note is Area Zero. Jesus. Oh my god. When you say crater, yeah, I guess... The professor is, in fact, a graduate of our fine academy, as well as a splendid researcher. Well, allow me to get straight to the point. Wander student ID number 805C393. You are the student who travels with the unusual Pokemon Maraiden. Is that correct? No. Why would you attempt to lie? You appear in any number of clips <laughs> of security camera. <laughs> By the way, our character is not a liar. He's just very cautious. And I think, I hope, I hope I'm communicating that. I want our character to be like so different from like what you can be in other Pokemon games because they're allowing you to do this in that game, this game. He's super cautious. He's super like weary about like being called like a hero or a champion. You know what I mean? I, I really like that. I really love that aspect of, of that to let you do this in this game. Any number of clips for security camera footage to get him and ride it. That's not true. Not that I... I don't mean to offend you. In fact, I wish to ask for your assistance. With what? Oh, yeah. oh, how good to see that you are well. It has been quite a while since we last met. Oh, that's him. Sorry. That's the guy in the video. Raiden was once in my care, you see. Oh, wow, so he's like, he's like, yeah, I know, I know a lot more about you, this guy than you do. It's Pokeball was originally mine. I assume you even received it from a young man called Arvin. I'm no longer in any position to be able to manage that Pokemon myself. This is what I would ask of you. Will you continue looking after my on behalf? I was going to do that anyway, not on your behalf, on my behalf. Should I say no? I feel like our character, even though he's kind of like a bit iffy about everything, he'd be like, yeah, I'll keep him, yeah, sure, you know? I'd appreciate your agreement. It's like I was going to keep him anyway. Saying no would just be kind of rude for rude's sake. Raiden has been greatly uh, weakened and is currently incapable of battle. It can, however, take on a form of specialized mobility. In all likelihood, it will uh, require some time to fully regain the capa capabilities it once had. I provide you my contact information. Will you please get out your phone? Nice phone cover. Thanks. I'll be in a regular contact going forward to keep the tabs on your status. Until then. Interesting. So there's a guy who like had uh, Maraiden way before we had him. I guess, yes. Could this Pokemon have its origins with Area Zero? 
Hold up, don't tell me you actually did it. I hit the microphone. Well, it seems that the professor is asking quite that favor of you. But of course, the academy is always here to support you in any way that they, we are able. I do hope you continue to enjoy your school life together with that Maridon. Now, leave me to my evil talks with the window. So I noticed these right away, these little things here. Um, they are very much like for other teachers to sit there and do work. Let me see here one second. Oh, you're still here, Wonder. Getting called to the director's office? How'd you manage to get in trouble already? I'm bold. Uh, not kidding. <laughs> I know it wasn't like that. Mr. Jacques wanted me to show you your way to your room in the school dorms. Oh, cool. Your very own private room, Water. Let's go check it out. Your dorm room. Oh. This is, like, way nicer than any dorm room has any business being. Centeon, this is your room, Wander. Actually, it's uh, as to me as new to me as it is to you. Never been in here before. Maybe check out your new bed. Looks comfy. And you must be worn out from all this. Stuff happening your very first day. Quick rest in the bed was all you need. Get yourself and your Pokemon healthy again. Me, personally, when I'm tired, like, if I lie down... That's me done. I, 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 it's do I'm done for the day. So I never do that. I'll see you tomorrow. When you've rested up, take care of the battle even more. Take care. Like, I find when I, if I'm like, you know, working all day and I lie down. That's me giving up. You know what I mean? Um, people in life always ask me, how are you so enthusiastic? How are you always on the go? How are you like never look tired? And it's like, man, talk to me at like six, six or seven o'clock. Talk to me later. It's your desk. Plenty of uh, handy space to put things on the side too. Should we? Should we relax? Yeah, sure. Let's go. Let's go. Um, it's just I don't let my body give up until like it's time. You know what I mean? My body doesn't give up until it's time, and that's dangerous because you should be resting. You know what I mean? You should be. Oh, it's really pretty at night. The days quickly fly by after you start your new life at Uva Academy, and at last the day arrives for your true adventure to begin. So we're going on a journey. To get the eight gym badges. I'm excited for this. Gym gym fights. The thing is, like, people are, like always say, like, you know, that Pokemon needs to, like, evolve. And I totally get it. I totally get it. You want Pokemon to get better. I'm not going to be one of those people that's like, let's leave Pokemon alone. Uh, attention all students. Save marks the beginning of an important new assignment. Please assemble the schoolyard while I explain more to you. But to explain really quickly what I mean by what I was about to say. Like, the gym, the idea of gym battles, right, is perfect. It works. It's something that no other game actually does on that level, like where you do like the eight gym badges and you you get the victory road and all this stuff. It's always worked because there's a feeling of accomplishment in it. There's a goal, um, and you get to catch a cool Pokemon along the way. Somewhere along the line, like we, I feel like a lot of times we forget what Pokemon is, because to me, I'm playing this game and I'm like this is an incredible game, and like I see constantly online people not constantly every once in a while you see online some people being like man pokemon scarlet and violet that's the wake-up call for game freak and it's like i'm playing this game this is like the best intro they've had to this series like nearly ever sorry i had to pause i have like the i have like weird sniffles right now maybe it's just the weather's changing it's time I've been waiting forever for this. Come on, let's go into the schoolyard. Can we get tights for ourselves as well? They look really cool. Like, I forget what it was. I remember I was, like, watching, uh, like, I think it was just probably, like, a, like, I saw, like, a celebrity photo. I forget who it was. It might have been, like, where do you want to go? It, like, actually legitimately might have been, like, Justin Bieber or something. And they're wearing, like, those leg warmers. And they, like, look like tights under, sh under shorts. And it's like, man, like... Why weren't boys wearing tights all along? Oh, yeah, they were back in, like, the, you know, the Victorian era and stuff like that. But you know what I mean? It's, like, more. Excellent. Seems that everyone is here. Well, then, it's time that I explain your independent study assignment. As usual, the theme will be a treasure hunt. I ask each of you to set out and travel the world in search of your own treasure. 
You will have all your learned much within the walls of our fine academy. But now it's time to turn your eyes upon the wider world and deepen your understanding. Explore Paldia's abundant nature, soak in its rich culture. Discover the Pokemon that live here. And get to know the people too. That's a Golduck right there. That's not a person, but... Where will you travel? Who will you meet? And what will you achieve? Of course, your po Pokemon partners will be there to help you. You will journey together. Learn new things together. And share each other's thoughts. And my character is adorable. And find something you always might you might always treasure. I look forward to welcoming you back after your independent study. When you return to us as fine young trainers. Great designs here from some of these kids here as well. Look at this. Let the treasure hunt begin onward. Cool. So it's find your own treasure. So I guess like the, the challenge of the champions could be our treasure. Right? I'm guessing that's what it could be. It's time to the great outdoors. Come, Sizzlar. We're riding out. Bye -bye. Great looking Pokemon. Really great Pokemon. Take care, everyone. And remember, the great crater of Paldea is exceedingly dangerous. Entering it is a violation of school rules. What are you waiting for, Wonder? Let's go. Legit, legit, so happy. And like, if I just say like, I'm sorry if like it seems like I'm, I'm making fun of some stuff sometimes like with his voice and stuff like that. Like, I, I, like literally if anyone's seen my other playthroughs, you know that I just do funny voices for some characters sometimes. I legit think this is one of the best intros in, in, in Pokemon history. I think that it's exciting. I think that it looks great. I think that like the premise is actually really good too. Hey, just sending people off on like a little um, expedition uh, for the school is a really good idea. Um. I'm enjoying myself like so much and I really feel like and like it just uh, just to finish and put a bow on the conversation because I don't want to spend this whole series being like oh people at Twitter said this um like for me I never want Pokemon to be a heavy like a Dark Souls or a heavy game with like a like a story that is so heavy that like I go to sleep crying about it uh and that i feel weird about it you know what i mean i don't want to i like i know desperately a lot of people want like pokemon to like tomorrow to the next pokemon game to have the character be like you know i killed your sister could you ever forgive me and you're on this journey of like dark forgiveness where you have like a companion that like you hate at first and like like they, some people desperately want that i love that pokemon is a game that i can play at any time of the year at any moment and have the perfect essence of like a cool story with some jolly stuff that happens, Pokemon catching, battling, um, create a character, and literally just have a great overall time. The weather's changing right now. It's dark outside, it's raining a lot. I need Pokemon. I don't need dark fantasy Pokemon all the time. Now a dark fantasy Pokemon would be cool, but like I still want Pokemon to be like not as like heavy as other games. No, I don't I don't want it to be I don't want it to be a Death Stranding. <laughs> you know what I mean? I don't want that to be it, you know? The treasure under Farley is starting. And but that's not me saying the stories aren't good. That's me saying I don't want the stories to be like, my sister died. And you know, like, like which are good stories too, but it's like, I don't want that. Um, I play Danganronpa and these games separately. What are we supposed to do? Yeah, fair question. Since your first time, come on, let's walk and talk. Treasure Hunt is a huge part of Uva Academy school year. The point is to get us all looking for some actual hidden treasure necessarily. Is no, isn't to get us looking for actual hidden treasure necessarily. <gasps> We're more just uh, making our own adventures to see what uh, experiences Paul Day has got to offer. You could try to beat Pokemon gyms. You could help out in people in need. You could hunt for real capital T treasure if even if you wanted. There's stuff we'd never learn sitting in a classroom, you know. This is our chance to learn it. 
Plus, there's so many chances to battle, which is obviously perfect for me. You and me for sure got a battle if you run into each uh, other out there. I hope you're ready. Yeah, I should have said no, but that, that you know that would have been funny. Oh yeah, battling can wait. I meant to tell you. Did you know your phone's map app lets you set yourself destinations? You could try setting one of the gyms as your destination. That'd be a, uh, a uh, that's that'd get you on your way easy. How's that for a student council president? Giving your own friends an insider advantage? Arvin, this guy has some beef. You can tell he has some beef, right? Insider advantage. Sheesh, you make it sound like we're cheating or something. All I did was suggest that he check out the gyms. It's up to Wonder where he whether he goes. Wonder's gonna have his hands full searching out Titan Pokemon with me. He doesn't have time to waste on something chasing after the champion rank. Me and him are gonna be too busy visiting the lairs of Titans nabbing their Herba Mystica. On serio, don't go filling his head with weird stories. Hey, all they do is invite him along. It's still up to wonder where he goes, right? <laughs> roto, roto. Wonder, your phone's ringing. Nice cover. Hey, Wonder, Cassipia here. It's about Operation Stopham. Remember what I told you before? Team Star made up of five individual squads, and each one of them got their own base. I need you to go to each base, all five of them, and beat the squad boss there. Wait, do I have to choose between the three of these? Because I want to do the champion's rank and this one. Uh, I want to do all of I want to do all of them, really. Team Star Grunts might try, try to get in your way, but I'll be helping you out from a distance. And heads up, the bosses each specialize in different Pokemon types. Just remember the names of the crews and you'll figure it out. Still need to worry. With your skills, I'm sure you're more than up to the task. I'll just go ahead and add their basis locations to your phone. Team Star bases have been added to your map. Oh my god, this is actually very, very cool. Starfall Street. This is actually really cool. Good luck with those bosses. I'll give you some nice rewards every time you beat one. Wait, one second. Who are you supposed to be? And Team Star, those punks are serious hazard. They're not Wander's problem. That's right, because he's got more important things to do, like searching out awesome ingredients with me. I thought it was up to Wander to decide whether he goes or not. Wasn't that what you said? Oh, they heard that? Nimona and Arvid? Oh, my lord. How do you know my... I'm looking forward to seeing what you can pull off, Wander. Bye. What's all that about? Wander, I'm glad you're making plenty of friends here, but trying to get dragged into it. Anything dangerous. Anyway, no more weird vibes. We've got a big adventure to start. I'm going to battle every single Pokemon trainer I meet. If I just keep trying to, to become the biggest, strongest, I bet that experience uh, will be the best thing I treasure. I guess I'll start by heading to the gym and training up some new Pokemon here. I'll send you a pic of what the gym building looks like. Oh, cool. Okay, so they're actually like modernized in a way. Oh, and I know we're running our mouths, but it's uh, you'll call what you want to do, Wonder. It doesn't feel that way. Go where you want and do what you want. Yeah, like it feels like they are a bit of doing a bit of pressure, you know what I mean? A treasure of our very own. For me, that's got to be my, my or uh, my big dream of tracking down the Herba Mystica. That is. Once we get those herbs, I'll make you the absolute best sandwich you've had in your life. Oh, that's actually okay. Okay. Seems like. Ah, sandwich. He loves sandwiches. There you go. And what'd you come out for? Oh, gosh. You come out because he said sandwich. Yeah, he loves the sandwich. You get my mom's sandwich. Well, you're not getting one. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yes, yes, you get one. It seems like he wants to start moving. Is it telling you to get on, Wonder? Press the start button to jump onto Maraidon. You can find uh, you'll find you get around more quickly. When Ryan, you know, Maraidon's back. Press the B button to have a jump, allowing you to leap over obstacles in your path. Press the start button again to. Okay, cool. Let's go. Whoa, it transformed. Now he looks like it's some kind of weird kind of weird sizzler. Long as you got Maraidon, you can go pretty much anywhere. Paldi is your cloister. Hmm. Yeah, maybe. Well, if you're gonna search for those Titan Pokemon, I'd say set out for the East Gate. But since Wander's actually headed to take on some gyms, I say go the way. It's very I feel a lot of pressure. I'm almost sick. Besides, way too easy to get lost out east. <laughs> Man, this is why I can't get along with you. I'm out here. I'm out of here. 
Catch up soon, little buddy. I'll head to gym. See you around, Wander. And thus, Wanda went on his journey. The Treasure 5 is a special event. is held by the Academy of Courage students to set out their own, learn themselves. You're free to decide where you want to go as your... Wait, so is it, is it a choice? Can I only choose one? Because we're doing the gym battles if it's a choice, right? No. <laughs> <laughs> like, I feel... I actually, I really like that, like, those characters are not, like, these perfect... Like, the, our best friend isn't perfect this time around. Like, she was pressuring us as well. It felt kind of... I felt pressure, right? You felt that too? Like, I don't know, like, it's it's kind of, it felt felt a bit, felt, it was making me feel sick. Make me feel sick, I didn't like the pressure. You know, Paramore, I can feel the pressure, you know? So, we have, uh, we have a choice of what to go after first. And I think we, I think we just do basic, let's go after the gym battles first. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with fighting a gym right away. Oh my god, man. Here we go. Okay, so, okay, so what's the button for the map again? This is the emotes, which is very important. This button is notices. This button is the uniforms. Um, time to dress properly. Um, yes. Um, this button is that. That button is... The Pokedex. This button is this. This is the map. We found the map. Okay. <laughs> um, so what is this stuff? So that's... The first gym is over there. That's Starfall. Gym bag, badge psychic. But is there a way to know, like, if, if if we're good enough to fight them? Or is it just that we have to just go for it? So we came down here. There's, oh, there's a question mark over here as well. What is up with these little symbols here? Are they showing the different types that could be around here? Um, we might as well take a look. Um, but which gym, I wonder, is, like, the one you go for first? See for, first. A grass-type artist... I wonder which one, which one you see, which one you do. Is there, is it, does it scale with you or like, cause usually it's like, cause it's open world. Oh, this one's the closest. Right? Is it? Area six, area two. So it's area five, area one. So this one we definitely fight first, which is the uh, bug gym, which we can destroy. We could destroy right now. I think we just go right for the bug gym, but first I want to go here. Um, set our destination to there. Let's go. Uh, all the Pokemon. Oh, he's got a bike now. God damn it. Our plans. It's kind of crazy, isn't it? Like, um... Oh, Lechonk. Okay. Hello. Where's Roiko? Roiko? Yeah. Where's Roiko? He's not around here. So, the two mainstays of the team, we have decided. Um, we had a special committee between me and myself and I. Um, and it's going to be... The two, the committee the committee is has decided that... The, that this Pokemon will be a... Will be always on the team. Always. Uh, then, uh, Toto will be the only, uh, the only other Pokemon that's a mainstay on the team for sure all the time. Then everything else can change out. We're never not going to have Sudowoodo on the team when he does evolve into Sudowoodo, which I don't know what level he evolves into Sudowoodo at. But I might put him out as my first. Um, just for the sake of it. Bug is weak to flying, right? And... Right? B Bug is weak to flying and fire. I could be wrong, though. So we might use Toto. Hold on a second here now. There's the button, okay. How are we gonna travel across here to get to there? We have to travel down... 
Whereabouts is it? Where do we where do we even mark? Oh, it's actually like very close by. We decided okay, look, we'll find it. I can feel the pressure. It's burning down on me. Thank God you don't have to get off this to, to, to do that. That would that would have been painful. Okay, so we have to find a way to get to there. I think we have to go up to... I, actually, I think I know the way. Let's go. Remember we, we nearly went to, to an area like that before? Or did we? I'm nervous. I'm nervous. I think we can do everything though, right? We should be allowed to do everything. I can't imagine them like stopping us from doing everything in the game. Um, it would kind of be silly, wouldn't it? I thought he could swim. <laughs> There's a whoopa. How do we get to there? Okay, let's see. Wait, what type of po There's a there's a elephant Pokemon around? There's a Pichu around here? You tell me there's a Pichu in this area? Pichu is, Pichu is very cool. Pichu is a chunky boy, by the way, because it turns into you can turn into a Raichu eventually. That's chunky boy territory. How do we get to that? Wait a second. Is there... Do I have to travel all the way around here? Or do I fly... What? How? Maybe we don't go for that right away, then. Maybe we just go for the gyms. Is there a Pichu around here? Forever hold your peace. If there's a Pichu around here. I want the Pichu. 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 There's supposed to, Is that what it's saying? There's a Pichu up here? Pichu. Pichu. Come out. Stop hiding. You should hide from him. Oh, there it is. <gasps> Why? He keeps calling us all chunky boys. Yep. We're going to catch a Pichu. You kidding me? Let's just try a Pokeball starting off. Yeah, Raichu, Raichu counts as a chunky boy. You know what I mean? Despite it's this Pokemon's cute appearance, those who want to live with Wan should prepare to be receiving the end of Electric Jolts. Yeah, it's apparently like very unstable. Yes, I would like to give it a nickname. Um, okay, so Pichu we will call so it's it's gonna turn into Raichu. We're gonna turn into Raichu eventually. So we're gonna call it something electric. Who does electric Oh Okay. Is that the girl's symbol or the boy's symbol? I can never I can never remember those symbols. One second, let's look this up. Girl symbol. The girl's the circle. Okay. So that's a boy. So I was gonna call it Azula. But we'll call it Zuko. Is that too obvious? But I love Zuko. Add to your party, yeah. Yeah. Danger. But I'm doing so well. Danger. Please don't do it to me. I was doing so well. You don't have much. Uh, you don't understand how much I love Raichu. Now let's try and find that elephant. And he just took me off the team. I was doing really well. This is Psyduck, anyway. So it's around this region is where we're looking for that uh, elephant Pokemon, whatever it's called. That's a freak. You know what I mean? That's a freak and a chunky boy. That's a trunk. That's a frunky boy. You know? Like if I can find a frunky boy, we're doing a good idea. You know, we're having we're having a good time. That's a frunky boy. I don't even know what that Pokemon's called. Like Fnaf. 
I actually don't like Fan Fanabi or something. Fala isn't it like Fanabi or something? I actually forget what it's called. I'm not really like I've never been. We already battled you before, didn't we? Yeah, we're not. I'm not really like a, a, like as you guys probably can tell. I've never been a like big Pokemon like connoisseur enthusiast to the point that I know everything about the Pokemon in this, these games. Um, and I forget. Is that is that one? No, it's not. That's a chunky sore. I don't I don't even know where it could be. It's oh it's it's gone. It's gone. It's gone. It was it was on the map for a bit. Um so it's like, oh but not my not my jab. It's not very effective, but we're gonna do it anyway. Um battle. I can't wait to see what some of these Pokemon look for the Terrasalize. I didn't know Terrasalize was a thing until we finished this, uh, until we did this. Like, you know, Terrasalizing stuff. Like, that. I, I, like, I knew about, like, like, Dynamax to me was very, I didn't like Dynamax. I did not like it. I, like, like, just making the Pokemon bigger, it's like, okay. <laughs> you know? Um, fine. So is there other places with the other Pokemon that, you, oh, that's actually cool. The show where, like, there's other Pokemon, like, available around the place. So, the first place we're going to go then, how do we get out of this area? What the hell? I mean, we have to exit through a different area? We have to exit through a different area, I think. Right? Yeah, I think I think that's it. I think I exited the wrong area. So, maybe we have to go through this way and go to area two? Maybe that's what you have to do? So, because I want to go to this gym as soon as possible. The bug gym. Um, was there any cool Pokemon in this region? There's a whoop. There's a whooper there. There's a whooper. This is really cool. Okay, let's go back. Oh, I didn't mean that far back. Wait a second. That's a freak if I've ever seen one. What the hell is that? That's a big freak. Where is it? Where is that freak? Look at it. It's a freaky boy. What is that? Bonzi? Where is that freak? Like that's that's proper freak. I know the Pichu's back. Can you guys see that? Like on the map, that little that little egg? What even is that? Has anyone seen her? Has anyone seen our freak today? Birds, find the freak. If anyone's parents walked in and me uh, them watching my videos, where's the big chunky freak? <laughs> Ooh la la. <laughs> Where is it? should be done around here around this tree area but like it should be easy to see right is that it no that's freaking bug what's that flashing what the hell's flashing why is that what is flashing okay i don't we might sometimes we might just not be able to find some pokemon you know what i mean because the second time this has happened now, you know? We'll do one more sweep and then we'll get on our bike and go. What is that? F what is that? Oh, it's the sun? Is it? Uh, okay. Yeah, I just think she's... Maybe we just can't find her. She's not around here. She's not home. She doesn't want to play. What is... What even is that light? Is it's it's it, 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 is it the sun being blocked? Yeah, look, we can't find her. It's fine. It's fine. I wanted to find her badly. Um, we're gonna go to that gym next. That's what the next thing we're gonna do is go to that gym.
It actually feels good. Uh, I have the, the Pokemon Let's Go Switch, so I have like Eevee and Pikachu on my Switch. It actually looks pretty good. Well, the lighting of the school is actually cool right now, isn't it? Actually, very cool. But with that right there, I'm very um, happy with what we've been doing today and what we've been doing in this game. We're going to end the video right here, guys. Uh, thank you so much for watching this series. Thank you so much for supporting this series. Um, yeah, it means the absolute uh, world to me. And just to thank the uh, Can Never Pay the Baby Gangsters, T Tyfiro 2, Jimmy Bull, Johnny the Banana, Smidge, Rachel S, The Ghost of Inazuma, Felicitas Felix, George Candelaria, Eskun, Yuld, Radish, and Poke Girl. And emotes is this, isn't it? So we'll send you guys off right uh, with the only emote that matters, this one here. Woo! Hmm. See you guys. <laughs> Smack that. Smack it all over the place, please. Smack it. This is me smacking chunky bellies in the game. He doesn't ever battle Pokemon, he just slaps the bellies of the chunky ones. <laughs>